I'm Tina Buskirk, FAA Safety Team Program Manager for the Scottsdale, Arizona FISDO, and this is 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. If you're inexperienced or not currently proficient with mountain flying, here are some tips. First, pilotage is essential to navigation, so only go if flight visibility is 10 miles or greater. Next, your ceiling should be at least 2,000 feet above all ridges. Check winds aloft forecast at 9,000 and 12,000 foot levels for wind speeds. Above 25 knots, your aircraft's limitations for turbulent air may be exceeded. Beware of mountain wave events. Strong updrafts and downdrafts may exceed the strength of your plane's airframe. Downdrafts even in moderate mountain waves can exceed 1,000 feet per minute, making it difficult or possible to cross the ridge. Rotors are caused by wind shear and rotating moment underneath the crest of a mountain wave and must be avoided. Be aware of degraded aircraft performance due to density altitude. Normally aspirated engines develop approximately 3% less power for each thousand feet above sea level. Check your aircraft manual for leaning procedures and increases to true airspeed with altitude. Higher true airspeed causes longer takeoff and landing rolls. Other pilot errors include poor contingency planning should a go-around be necessary, box canyon entrapment, and trying to outclimb the terrain. A previous edition of 57 Seconds addressed high density altitude concerns. Adding in mountain wave and weather considerations shows us that flying in this environment requires preparation and thought. The FAST team considers a good mountain flying course essential to safe operations. For the FAA Safety Team, I'm Tina Buskirk.